want to do this as a sort of a uh, show of hands. How many people are seeing me for the first time? Right on. So, Woo! Virgins to many stories of mine, which is good. Okay, so for all of you people that have never seen me play before, I'll tell you the story that I always tell about this one. The Triumph in the middle 80s were touring, and we were, you know, an arena rock band, just like the guy said. And <laughs> had, like, huge laser light show and everything. And, and in the middle of the set, Mike and Gil would screw off to the dressing room and drink beer and take a pee. And I would do what every rock band at the time did, a classical guitar solo in the middle of the show. And everybody in the audience knew, ah, oh, yes, the classical guitar solo. They'll have some fancy light laser shit, and uh, the set is going to just come right down to a tiny little nader. This will be the low point. And from, that, from here on out, it's going to ramp up and be great. So this is the perfect time to get out the giant fat dube that we brought and fire it up and smoke marijuana. Which is legal, by the way, in the state of Colorado now. And I played there three weeks ago with the orchestra. And I'm up there on stage, I'm playing my thing, and the place fills with second hand smoke. And I'm up on stage, and I'm going, wow, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Who are all these strange people? Anyhow, yeah, that's what used to happen. Instead of thinking about Midsummer Day, I wrote Midsummer Day because I knew I was going to go out on tour and be able to play it. So I wanted something that would have, you know, a memorability but a, a, a melodic kind of quality. But at the same time, people would go, "Shit, that guy's good. Look what he look at all the fancy shit he does." <laughs> so you know that fancy shit. And then you know Eddie Van Halen was out there and he was doing. So then I had to add Eddie Van Halenisms in it. You know, see if I can. Still do those. So, anyways, that's the story of Midsummer Daydream, and uh, you're going to hear it now. If you have it, a green laser comb would be a perfect. Thank you. 